Well, the holiday time is often a time of giving to charitable organizations, but many people don't think about the nonprofit organizations that work to keep them safe. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley connects us to how Crime Stoppers is positioning themselves to help fight crime and reward those who help them. When a fugitive is on the loose, most people look to the police, sheriff's department, or other law enforcement agencies to bring them to justice. And they do. But many times the process is accelerated with the help of Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers gives the public an opportunity to call in and give us information about that and do it anonymously so they don't have to worry about retaliation. And if that tip leads to an arrest and prosecution, the informant stands to receive a reward of up to $500 thanks to Crime Stoppers. But what many people don't know is how the reward funds are raised. We're not a government agency. We're a local group of business people who raise money, and that money is used to give rewards. I really don't know the exact number, but I know that it's, it's we, some months it's two or three thousand dollars. Without those monetary rewards, some tipsters may not feel there's an incentive to call in. But each dollar given out is collected without government assistance. It's the public's pockets that helps authorities hold criminals to the law. If we don't have a lot of money, we have to give a lower reward because we just don't have the money. She says fortunately, Crime Stoppers has been able to sustain and keep their fundings up. But as they enter a new year, it wouldn't hurt to build their supply. We have our annual golf tournament. Fundraisers of this sort are set up to ensure that when the public calls, Crime Stoppers will be there to answer and later give a reward as a thank you. To find out how you can donate to the nonprofit organization, log on to MySouthwestGA.com. Jessica Fairley, Fox 31 News.